Hey doll fans, welcome to the channel Rare and Pretty Dolls. I'm Cassie and this is Gulia. So we have the Gulia Deluxe doll that we are unboxing today. So I'm just gonna get my Gulia glasses on. We are ready to unbox. So this is the shipper that she came in. I'm just gonna tip her out so she fits really snugly in the shipper. And this box, uh, sorry, this doll was available from Mattel Creations Direct. That's the only way you could buy her. You purchase her from Mattel Creations and they send her out to you. Uh, this is a cute little detail on the side of the box here. We've got her skelet with the glasses. We've got a little love heart and then we've got Sahutsu Lotta Owl. And then we have a little Dead Fast logo, brains, cherries, eyeballs. And it says zombies are monsters too. And then on the back of the box, we have a full art picture of Gulia in her outfit, which is a photograph. It's not a recreation of an artwork. So it says the smartest ghoul at Monster High is creeping the halls and a look that's sure to make the ghouls rest in peace. Pieces? That's sure to make the ghouls rest in pieces. It's a very cool sentiment. Now, let's see if I am able to unbox this. I'm already shaking as I don't feel very doing this. I have more than one of these dolls. And of course, as people who know the channel will know that Gulia is my favorite Monster High character. So I do really want one of these out of the box. And I can see like this, I can see the whole doll in the box, which would normally lead me to leave her in the box. But I'm actually not a huge fan of this box. Um, it's lovely, but it's very simple. So I'd like to put her in a more theatrical setting. Okay, and then when we slide her out, the back of the box, we have the diary. And on the front here, we have the rest of the doll stand, the little bag, which is a gray bear bag. You guys all know the original Gulia has this cherry red and this electric blue, and then she has a little pop of the green. Um, and they brought that styling into the new doll and they've just replicated those colors beautifully. I'm going to start sniffing her out of this box using our little exacto knife here. So that's the bag. The bag is kind of a jelly design. Um, kind of like the sweet screens sort of look, which I love. And it's jelly hands holding a grave stone closed with chains and a little bone handle, which is adorable. So a lot of the Monster High Girl friends are dressed for kind of stage, like the staged dolls. That's how it feels to me. Um, so one of the ways that this doll would be staged is to, um, like the ribbons are traditionally used to represent blood in stage productions. So someone cuts their wrists and like a, a load of like silk ribbon will like fly out behind them. And um, that's to represent that kind of thing, which I get the bloodletting, but I'm not too sure about the symbology of it for Gulia. I'm not sure that that's kind of the messaging that they wanted to go for there, or if it's just something they saw that was cool, or if they just really wanted to tie the red in somewhere else. I didn't know if that kind of was really necessary for her. Um, got this spine um, cage happening, this bone cage happening here. It's not really a corset, it doesn't really do anything for her shapewear, but um, it's just a little overlaid cage there, which is cute. Uh, and then we have this PVC bodysuit, um, little play suit even, and then this little bolero jacket with the brain design on it, and then the gummy worm earrings. I would have loved to have seen the gummy worm earrings in more of that jelly style. I think that would have been really cute. Um, and it, she had little gummy worm earrings for sweet screens that were blue, that were green to red. 
um, and they were clear and they were really cute too. So I might give them a try on her and see how they look. These boots are amazing. These brainy boots. I love that. And she has inches. Like, look at this hair. It's beautiful. And then we've got, of course, the little white glasses. Let's see if I can pop those off. Okay, so they're fixed in a few different places. But this is, like, I do not unbox dolls, generally. Um, but one of the reasons I wanted to unbox this doll is that I really wanted to see what her makeup looked like behind her glasses. Um, and I wanted to display her without her glasses on her. So there's the little glasses. Big. And here she is without the glasses. Oh, so amazing. I just love that. So we've got the um, really bright neon blue at the top there, and then we've got an underline of neon green and then we've got this smoky eye which is pushing it all forward and seeing it as a highlighter which is absolutely stunning which is going to be a beautiful girlfriend for your collection and for mine so thank you for joining me and my new ghoul friend today for our unboxing video. If you would like to join us for more videos in the future, please like and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss out on all of our dolly drama. Thanks everybody, bye.